Hey guys, DMS here. Today I have for you an insanely detailed set of speakers you can get for $1,000. Let's check it out. By the way, before we get into this video, if you want to support the channel, I have analog shirts just like this one. Sweaters, everything at the link in video description. They're great. I wear them myself and they help me make videos like this one. So I'm not going to make any claims that these are the best speakers under a certain price point. I'm no speaker expert. Sure, I've been using speakers for as long as I can remember, but there are people far more qualified to tell you what's the best than me. Uh, there's another great channel called New Record Day. If you're not familiar with them, you can check them out. I'll link his videos in the description. There's a lot of cool stuff in there about how to treat rooms and set your speakers up. And his setup is by far just monumentally better than mine for evaluating speakers. But with that said, I also want to note SVS did send me these speakers. I'm not being paid to make this video. Uh, they're just letting me borrow the speakers. I really like them and I got a set. So let's get into it. I have the SVS Ultra bookshelves here, the Ultra Towers, and I've got a few of their subs and some other bookshelf speakers. But today we're going to be talking about the Ultra bookshelves and the Ultra Towers, mostly about the bookshelves though. These have a piano gloss finish on them. I could go into details about the drivers and all that, but there's not too much to say that I would really be able to convey well, other than the fact that they all have aluminum dome tweeters and they look really, really nice. You can buy amp them, which is great. They got a little bit of weight to them. Um, they do scratch relatively easy, so be careful with that. But for the most part, you shouldn't be dragging them across the floor anyway. Put them on some stands, let them sit there and listen to music. They do tend to sound better a little bit off the wall, but not quite as much as other speakers like my Vandersteens. These are rear ported, just like the towers, uh, but they do extend really well. They don't get super boomy uh, when put up near a wall, unless you're like right up on a wall in a small room. I give these about like three, four feet and they seem pretty happy, but they don't need like a full six or more like my Magnapans do. There's not too much for me to say about the build other than that they are built beautifully and they look like a thousand dollar plus set of speakers. Same goes for the towers, which seem to share very similar, if not the same drivers, but they have more drivers and they have woofers at the bottom. Now, I think it's mostly just about placement here, but I was able to get better results in my two channel setup with the SVS Ultra bookshelves, sometimes without a subwoofer. When I did use a subwoofer with these, sometimes I would use dual SB3000s, but most of the time I was more than happy with a single SB1000 at very low volume, because as I said, the Ultras do extend pretty well. They're not very boomy or punchy in the bass, but it's very audible. Just don't expect to shake your house down with bass. This speaker is more about truth than it is about power. So let's talk about that. For the most part, I feel like this is a very neutral leaning speaker. It sounds like it does have a little bit of a dip somewhere in the upper mid range, but not drastically so. It's got a very airy far upper end and probably what sounds like the uh, 10K plus area feels airy and a lot of the mids and bass feel pretty flat and neutral. Nothing feels particularly shouty or out of place, and I feel like that's something the speaker does very well. It doesn't sound warm, it doesn't sound dark, it doesn't sound bright, it just sounds very neutral yet inoffensive at the same time. And it's very good at bringing out the truth in a lot of my recordings. It's very easy to tell when recordings were made in a space that has more space. Not necessarily because of the intense staging they provide, because they do have relatively good staging, though it's not mind-blowing. The depth is particularly impressive, and the imaging is pretty good as well. These speakers are good at disappearing and letting you hear where the singer is, but also hear around the singer a little bit to hear the space that they're in. And that's less of a testament to the speaker's staging and more to the speaker's level of micro detail. Something that I learned in my line of work is that the ability to hear around the singer and hear the room without having to deal with issues of um, transducers, headphone speakers with poor separation is generally related to their resolution, being able to hear that extra bit. But having resolution with the ability to also be neutral sounding and inoffensive is difficult. You can turn these speakers up pretty loud without them getting painful or peaky or uncomfortable. 
Of course, there's a tipping point, and I don't generally recommend listening to music that loud as it's good to protect your hearing, but they are certainly capable of pushing decent volumes as are the Ultra Towers, which is probably why a lot of SVS equipment is generally purchased and aimed towards people that are building strong home theater and home entertainment systems. I use SVS Ultra Towers in my living room with prime satellites on the rears, uh, and the two SB3000s as part of my 5.1 surround in there, and that absolutely shakes the house. But SVS is good for much more than shaking the house. They are good for hearing a level of detail in music that, honestly, I personally have not experienced too much in this specific range of speakers if we're talking about price. Now certainly I've heard many more expensive things that sound great, certainly I've heard many cheap things that sound great. The Mica RB42 is a speaker, I have a video coming out on very soon, they're $100 and they're mind-blowing for their price. But the SVS Ultra bookshelf specifically is something that I feel has scaled very well as my system has grown. Switching it over to monoblock amplifiers, even putting in a significantly better preamp, has translated straight into the performance of the speakers and I've been able to hear every improvement along the chain crystal clear through them. And that is very satisfying. I feel like a lot of people could take these speakers, set them up well in a room with some good source gear, maybe use a sub, maybe not, and be very happy with them almost indefinitely. I would say that this speaker leans a little bit more towards analytical than something like my Vandersteens or my Bowers and Wilkins does. It's not sugar-coated, and there are times when the speakers would say, hey, you know, I have an aluminum dome tweeter. But I found that the times that I would sit and enjoy myself and be entranced in the music far outweighed the times when I would notice a poorly mixed or sibilant track. And I think that's what encouraged me to make this video most now, is that many times I found myself just sitting there thinking, you know what, I want to go and put on a record and listen to those ultras again. Now as far as power requirements, it's hard to say there, I couldn't tell you too much about that. I've enjoyed them a lot on these Class D monoblocks, I've also heard them on some Class A, B amplifiers like my Rotel and a few others. I even plugged them up to a Luxman integrated amplifier that was like $10,000 and they sounded fantastic. Uh, Class D tends to make them sound a little bit more mid-forward. Class A B amps that I heard it on, as well as the Luxman, tend to um, kind of make the sound a little bit more uh, lively and less aggressive, so it really depends on what you're trying to do with them. I'm sure that many amplifiers are going to change the sound in many different ways. But that is my video on the SVS Ultra bookshelves. I'll probably do a video on the towers too at some point, but if I don't, it's basically just these, but with a lot more bass. And a bit more detail in the low mid-range. But personally, the bookshelves are the ones for me. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at forum.hifiguides.com. And as always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until the next one, guys. Peace.